Here is one of the problems, well, not problems, but this is one of the things about the Mini Talon that the 3D printer was meant to enhance. There's a little slot right here. I don't know if you can see that. About an inch. If you look before the fuselage halves are glued together, you can see there's a place. It's made for this little tail skid. It's a piece of one mil, one ply. It's one ply, not one mil. One ply uh, plywood. And it's just slipped up in the slot and glued in, epoxied in after the uh, fuselage halves are glued together. Well, it seems that this rips off a lot in landings. Breaks. And sometimes it takes some of this foam out with it. This is kind of like a styrofoam cup. Uh, of course, there's a lot of these that can be 3D printed in plastic. But what everybody found out after they started doing that was, even though you're replacing this with a 3D plastic part, uh, the same thing happens occasionally when it comes in. Instead of this just breaking, it also takes out part of this foam. This foam starts getting really, really boogered up. So... That's one of the reasons the 3D printer came in here a few months ago and I showed you how 3D printers work and went through all that stuff because now the 3D printer is settling in to do its actual work. And you see here, I'm printing a whole different type of skid for the airplane. This one is going to cup the foam in the bottom and go around it instead of being a piece that fits into a slotted slot. It's a little part there. You can see the support underneath. I don't think it needed any back here, but I'll show it to you in the slicer. When this started out, this was just really a strange thing. That's going to be another it took two hours to print this iron 15 minutes without support it's supposed to be an iron 44 with about two hours we'll see what happens when it finishes so i dropped the rear skid for the mini talon into the slicing software and there it is don't know why they stuck it up in the air like that but they did likely so that printers without as large a build surface as mine can print it in sections or print it straight up me i'm going to grab a hold of it and rotate it around there we go yeah something like that now the problem is I think this will be fine printing, but I, I'm not too sure about having to put support under it over here. So I'll go ahead and slice it. And it says an iron 13 minutes to print it that way. Uh, let's put some tree support on it. Dink. Experimental tree support. Slice it again. Iron 44 minutes. It's going to add a half hour to it. Let's preview it. You can shut this. Close this again. Click. So there it is with support. Not much over here for some reason. Ah. Uh, like I say, you can't do support by zone or anything, or I would just mark it from like here out this area for support. But it looks like because support's turned on, it's putting a little underneath here. Not that it's actually supporting that tip. And it's putting a little <laughs> along the sides too, right here. 
oh well this is the support I need right in here and it don't, it's only like I say going to add about 30 minutes to the print so the heck with it I printed it that way and here it is in process it's about 50% done. You can see right now it's working on the support on this end closest to us for the end of the skid that will turn up there in the future and it's working on the rest of the skid. You can see it with it out away from us now. You can see the rest of the skid that really doesn't need any support is printing out there it brings up each level layer of 0.2 millimeter plastic uh, throughout the whole print not just out here on this end you know how this works you saw all this when I set it up you haven't seen the 3d printer in a while have you see if it moves out to the other end so we can see just a little better there we go so right now it looks good looks like that's going to be a better tail skid than the one that manufacturer made for this model in my humble opinion we'll see now this is m modified by me only in the fact that I rotated the print around did do support but boy if I'd put support on that straight up on it would have been uh, absolutely crazy I don't think it would have held it up either but that's my opinion now I may have to come in here reprint it and then use some uh, scaling if it's not quite it doesn't quite fit the model I might have to oh make it 97 percent I don't know what I'll have to do make it smaller make it 110 percent and that makes it bigger gotta watch that so I will get too big for my build service that'll still slice here if it, if it gets too big for my build surface it will uh, say it can't slice it now I could let's select it I could put it on my build surface oops <laughs> well uh could put it on my build surface in this orientation and probably get it let's try 150 percent sized could make it that much bigger so I will print it the way they made it, that'll take five hours and to print. I will print it. See if it'll fit. If it doesn't, then I will make changes to it. But I think I can size it up pretty sufficiently if it needs to be bigger with my the area that my printer will actually print in so I like it I will continue to watch it it's about halfway through 55 percent through I think this is going to be much better than the manufacturers part and it's going to be much better than just printing a plastic version of the plywood part that comes with the model 
Well, we are almost at 80%. We're at 78%. So you can see now the actual piece is printing above that support. Right here's the support, that tree support, you remember? You can see the part is actually printing above that, and that's holding it up so it doesn't slump. Might have printed without that support. I don't know. I just don't want to print it for two hours twice. Four hours instead of two hours. Screw it. That much extra plastic out of the filament roll. Who cares? This should be fine. Sizing is the only problem that I should have with it. And the fact that the thing might not even have been correctly designed for the mini talon. I don't know. It's supposed to be. We'll see after I break it loose and try to fit it to the model. <laughs> but the long and short of it is right now it is printing the part above the support and it'll be finished it is at 80 percent right now so that's how quickly two percent goes by uh, it won't be long we'll be able to break it off of there and hold it up to the foam and see if it works oh it's getting exciting now I can tell it's 95% and you can tell when it quits working on this side and heads for the other side do just a little printing you can hear it across the room and that big long run right there it's looking good yeah, it always looks better in person it's really close uh, the time estimates are, of course are just estimates so based on how much time it's spending on each end I suspect it's really close to finishing up right now whatever layer it's working on right now it doesn't see it doesn't stay on that end to add a, another layer there very long and uh, by the same token I don't think this other side has much more left We'll see. Well, good. It finished. That's cool. It looks pretty good. Uh, let's move this up a little. The printer's actually across the room. Okay. That looks pretty good to me. Let's go over there and look at it. Well, we have a part. Is it the part we need? Looks good. Comes off the build surface easily. <laughs> Looks like it's going to be really easy to break the support loose. Have to <laughs> nothing to this. Some of this along the bottom might just be best to sandpaper. Okay, so there's the basic part. Let's see if it fits. Look at that. It just fits over the plastic. Now instead of being a piece that's glued up inside of it that either breaks off and has to keep being replaced and replaced and replaced or when it breaks off it boogers up this foam. But no, this looks like that's going to be just wonderful. Look at that. That is killer. Sanding will shape it perfectly. Fill it up with uh, epoxy. <laughs> and that'll be it. The 3D printer has reported for duty. And that much plastic is nothing. I can live with that much plastic for support. I end up with a modification that I think is a step or so above what the designer 
of the uh, platform did. Uh, that's the way I'm going to look at this. I'm going to fill it with hot glue instead of epoxy. That was a misstatement there. That way, if I have to replace it, I can just heat it from the outside and then pull it loose with the foam and maybe not dis destroy the foam at all. So, here we go. Everything's starting to come together from all the things you've seen the last six months.